Have you ever had numb hands while riding? If you join us in saying yes, then make sure you listen up, because in this video, we're going to show you how to prevent it. Now, it has to be said, if you are doing hours and hours of riding like those athletes, then it is hard to dodge numb hands entirely, but you can try and reduce it. Now, first of all, there are a few things that can lead your hands to go numb. Holding your hands in the same position for a long period of time can restrict blood flow and lead to numbness, but also having too much pressure on your hands as well. And we all have our favorite position to ride it on the bike. It might be on the hoods or the drops, but it is a really good idea to mix up your hand position as often as you can. So on your hoods for a bit, then on your tops, and even your drops, get nice and arrow. And then you can just loosen up your hands, keep them nice and relaxed. I often find it very helpful as well, just to bend my elbows a little bit, and it takes a bit of pressure off your hands. You often find people riding and they're gripping the handlebars really hard and get quite tense. So just remind yourself now and again, bend the elbows nice and relaxed, just enjoy the ride. Let's address your bike setup. Now, if you find you're getting numb hands, it could be because you haven't got your bike set up correctly. Bike setup's not just for performance, it's also for comfort too. So making sure you're properly dialed in is gonna help you in all areas. If you find that your saddle's slightly tilted down too much, you're gonna have more weight on your hands and that on those longer rides could lead to numb hands. So start right from the basics. Make sure you've got your saddle height in the right position and your saddle too. One more thing to think about is your saddle to handlebar reach. If you've got a position that's too aggressive, you will also find that more of that weight is upon your hands and your wrist, and you could also get a sore neck too. So make sure you've got a nice relaxed position. Now you can make some subtle changes by shortening your stem, raising your bars, and making sure you're fully supported on your saddle. This will all help in reducing the numbness and weight in your hands. If you've got your position dialed and you're still getting numb hands, it could be the case that you need to invest in a good pair of cycling gloves. If you're not wearing gloves, it can be that the vibrations travel from the road, through your bike, into your hands, and starts to add up over the course of a long ride. You don't need to go for long finger gloves like I'm wearing. You go for mitts to have the fingers cut off for warmer summer ribs. And you could also think about double wrapping your bars with an additional layer of handlebar tape. Something I used to do a lot of, actually, because my hands quite big and I found that on the handlebars just not enough grip not enough circumference to get a proper hold so double wrapping the bars made it a lot more comfortable for me could help you too last up it's worth saying that it is beneficial to try and learn to relax your grip on the bars especially if you're new to riding you're getting used to handling the bike it can be quite easy to over tighten that grip you're getting nervous in certain situations so just remember to remind yourself to loosen that grip relax your upper body, that can definitely help. Mate, you're the one with all the experience in the super long, ultra epic rides. What have you done in the past to get over numb hands? Well, it has to be said, there's a few little top tips you can do, which is double wrapping your bars, so making your bars a bit softer. Definitely wearing gloves, I don't wear them too often, but when I'm doing those long endurance rides, I would definitely say some padded gloves will help hugely, but Ultimately, getting your position right and relaxing, like you just said, is the absolute most important thing. But other than that, enjoy it. So there you have it, a few top tips to stop you getting numb hands. But have you experienced numb hands yourself and found any tips that helped you that we haven't covered today? Please leave them in that comment section. Yep, and thank you for watching. We will see you on the next video, hopefully without any numb hands.